I'm Maris. And I'm Molly. And we are the creators of Stranger in the Graveyard for Adolescent.net. And we just wanted to give you a little bit of the insight behind the scenes of what we do here. We live in Brooklyn and we share an apartment and one of our rooms is what we like to call the studio space. This is where the magic happens. This is the studio. Literally just a room. A, a typical Brooklyn style room. <laughs> yeah. This is where it all happens and it's a freaking mess right now. Typically after we do a scene, it's chaos. Also during, also before, so. For this video, we did four different sets in four days. We did a set a day, and we designed it, built it, lit it, filmed it, and acted in each of them every day. Our process is pretty simple, actually. What we like to do is we both take a piece of paper and we say, okay, what are we going to do? What's the, what's the theme of this room? So we go off and we like go into a little corner, we draw, we don't let each other look, and then we reveal the drawings to each other, and this is usually the only part in the process where we, we have disagree. conflict. Yeah. <laughs> we have conflict A because we have this specific vision, or B because we literally don't know what the other one is trying to like say, and half the time it, we're saying the same thing. And then we compile them into a final image, which is our blueprint for the design that we're gonna do in a room. So, so basically when we do come up with a drawing and we do come up with a concept, this is where we actually, we split up almost and yeah. we just get to work doing our things. So right now I am assembling a mad scientist um, power board, I guess control board, where all of his power would be. And usually Molly and I try to find um, creative ways to make things not be so 2D. So we are using muffin tins right now. Um, this is the part of the design where we usually just sit in silence and start building things. <laughs> usually I'll build something and then I'll give it to her and she'll paint it. And then I'll give it back to her and, and she'll do, like, do sh like shadow shading type of thing. And then I'll go off and make um, bloody limbs. Yeah, bloody limbs or a bloody bag or... The little detailed things <laughs> that I would never think to do. <laughs> A tiny book. I think the, one of the best parts about the process is that we both love doing completely different things about designing spaces and creating worlds. Which is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Because she loves to do all the things that I hate to do. She loves to get messy. I, no, no, I don't want to do that. Anything that involves paints, uh, Mod Podge, uh, just but she, she likes to figure out how to construct things and like take a piece of cardboard and then make it into a filing cabinet or make it into like a wheel or something and I just don't have the patience for that. I think one of the greatest things about collaborating um, with somebody is that it, we come up with things that the other person may never have, would have never thought of. Like right. sh when we made the Frankenstein scene, I was so set on making the light switch go up and down, but we made this wheel and we had attached it and she's just like, we should definitely make this turn. I would have never, I never, I don't know why I wasn't thinking, I just wasn't. Well, the funny thing is, is I thought she was thinking that, so I started to create it um, <laughs> because I thought that that was her original concept. So misinterpretation is also a way to creating. We love just turning this small little studio into a different world. And we hope you enjoyed watching it too. Yeah. And we'll keep coming back for. We'll, 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 make, <laughs> we'll make some more videos. We'll make some more videos. I think my parents are. Big. I think my parents are calling me. You should probably pick up the phone. Maybe not. Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween!